The real mystics we all have come into contact with so-called supernatural world at least once in our life. Ghosts, prophetic dreams, the family curses, all this scares us and makes us live with constant feeling of despair. But I know that any event, even the most unbelievable one, has a real explanation. My name is Andre Debrin. This is Real Mystics Program. I will find the answers to all the mystical puzzles. And who knows, maybe the reality will be even more scary. The Real Mystics? You can turn the music on and the seat heating too. The real mystics? The killer cars. All the drivers know many tales connected with this subject. But it's the first time I face something like this in real life. Of course, I don't believe in the car demons or stuff like that. But I do want to find out what really happened there. Let's go and see. Irina Nepomieske has contacted us recently. The woman was sure her car was demon-possessed and that it has become a killer car. Hello, Irina. Hi, this is Andri. Yes, I am already here. I see your house. Irina was afraid the car would finally destroy her and her family. She wants to find an explanation to all that's happening, whatever it takes. Hello. Hello. I'm Andri. Come in, please. I'm Irina. Nice to meet you. And this is the garage where you keep the car in question, right? Yes, this is the garage. The car is there now. To be honest, I've been scared of it since the very beginning. What's so scary about it? Please don't make fun of me. I know it all sounds very strange, but everything connected with this car is very strange, too. Let's go inside. Yes, sure. Irina and Igor have recently bought their first car. First, they've bought a house and only then they decided to save the money to buy a car. Igor is a very practical and responsible man, so he was choosing a car very carefully. He spent hours in the internet looking for a suitable offer. He also went to the car market from time to time, hoping to find just what he was looking for. Put it wherever you want. Igor is obsessed with cars. Well, we live outside of the city so it would be nice to have a car, though we have managed just fine even when we didn't have it. My husband was dreaming of driving his own car, and of course I supported his decision because I saw his passion for cars. So we started saving the money to buy it. If I only knew what the result would be like. To be honest, I could have bought a car a long time ago. But I don't understand people who can spend huge money on a whip is all for me. The car is a dream. So I was choosing carefully. I wanted to get the best car for my hard earned money. The real mystics. And one day his dream came true. Ego has finally found what he's been looking for. A great car in good condition. Almost new and for a rock bottom price. The man was happy beyond words. Irina hasn't seen him so happy for a long time. We are going to have a ride now. I was so happy, you don't understand. I've been dreaming of such a car for so long. And when I saw the price, I didn't think twice. I went ahead and bought it. It's just, I was afraid the owner would change his mind and raise the price. At first, I was very happy about this purchase, too. Igor managed to save good money which was very important for him as he is quite tight-fisted when it comes to money. 
But when the first excitement wore off, I kept thinking why the previous owner decided to sell it for such a low price. Besides, I, I saw something that really scared me. It all started on the first day when Igor was closing the garage door. Let's celebrate. Let's. Come on. Irina saw that the car seemed to come to life. Igor. 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 The car. Ira, what happened? The wipers are working. The headlights, too. What happened? Irina got very scared, but her husband didn't take her words seriously and laughed at her. Her husband's reaction insulted Irina, but she couldn't prove anything. So she decided not to talk to him about it again. My husband has assured me that he bought a car so cheap because its previous owner had to relocate abroad urgently and that we got incredibly lucky. I didn't know what to believe on one side Selling the car would be stupid, but on the other side, I am scared of it. If she told me about her visions from the start, nothing might have happened. The real mystics? You can turn the music on and the seat heating too. The next day, while sitting in the car, the woman felt someone's invisible presence. Irina was ready to believe she has imagined it until the feeling had become a reality. The couple were in the car when Irina suddenly felt someone was looking at her from behind. In the mirror she saw the silhouette of a girl sitting in the back seat. In a moment, the vision has disappeared. Irina got really scared. But how should she tell Igor about it? The woman didn't want him to think she was neurasthenic. Are you sure about this car? Am I sure? We have to dance for joy because we got such a car for a very cheap price. You must be happy. At that moment, I got so scared, it's even hard to describe. I was talking to my husband when I suddenly felt that something appeared behind my back. The fear gripped me. I was horrified. I had goosebumps. And then I saw it. What was that? I don't know, but I do know I couldn't imagine something like that. The real mystics? When they got home, Ira couldn't calm down for a long time. It wasn't just her imagination. There was something wrong with the car. Ira came up to the window. Suddenly the woman saw that there was light shining inside their car. Igor. 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 The car. Igor explained that the alarm must have gone off because of a stray dog. He said he was sick and tired of her fantasies. Ira realized that he would never believe her. Ira is just jealous, you know. She told me about it herself several times. It's always like that. When a man gets a car, he's no time for his wife. Yes. Sure, it did make me mad. Igor spent all his free time with that car. We barely talked to each other. You know, he only cared about the car. It made me very angry. Igor has changed completely. If he managed to save some money, he only spent it on the car. Irina had to take some actions as soon as possible. Igor. Yes. I think we must sell this car. What are you talking about? We have just bought it. I'm not going to do it. I won't sell it. Irina realized she needed to act differently. She needed to get rid of the car as soon as possible. As a whiz woman, she decided to take advantage of Igor's weak spots. Igor, dear. 
tickets if we were so lucky to buy it for such a good price. Maybe we should sell it for more money and buy another car. We'll turn it to our advantage. Besides, this one needs a lot of gas. You are right. This car is really thirsty. A girl who was quite thrifty has agreed to that. Irina was happy. I knew this would help to persuade him. He's a thrifty guy and he'd never miss a chance to make a profit. So I used his weak spot and I almost managed to talk him into selling it. But I still failed. That damn car nearly killed him. The real mistakes? But something had happened the day before the sale and it changed everything. Igor was working in the garage where he spent a lot of time getting the car ready for the sale. He didn't hear his wife calling him to have dinner. Igor. Ira went to the garage and what she saw there has left her speechless. Igor. The car started moving backwards noiselessly and the headlights were blinking ominously. The woman screamed, but it was too late. Igor. Igor was already under the wheels. I have no idea how it started moving, Abdwai. So Everything happened so quickly. I felt the sharp pain. And then I realized what happened. I understand it was my fault. I just couldn't warn him. I didn't do it on time. I failed to explain. It was like in slow motion. You know, I still can't come to my senses. We bought a killer car for our own money. It's good that Igor stayed alive. Only after the accident, Irina decided to tell her husband and doubt her visions and fears. Igor was shocked. And surprisingly, he has believed her. He said it was too bad she didn't tell him about it from the start. This car is cursed, it's obvious. The real mistakes? Hello, Ego. Hi. My name's Andri. Don't get up. Nice to meet you. How are you? I've been sent home from the hospital, but as you see, I'm still with a cast. I think Ira shouldn't have invited you. There's nothing to look for. It's pure mistakes. Igor, we must find out what's wrong with it. Why do you think it's mistakes? Maybe there is some defect in the car. Yes, I had the same thoughts, so I invited a car mechanic. He examined everything. It's true, when Igor was in the hospital, the mechanic came here, but I know nothing of cars, so... When Igor was still in the hospital, he called his friend who was a mechanic and who has examined his car before. Irina met him and took him to the garage. Will this one do? Yes, sure. The gearbox is okay. Everything's fine. There's nothing wrong with your car. Did you say it just backed up? Yes, it suddenly turned on and started moving. Did it start by itself? Yes, well, I don't know much about this stuff. It just turned on and moved. The car turned out to be in order. The mechanic checked everything, but he didn't find anything unusual. He assured Arena and Igor there were no technical reasons for what had happened. What was wrong with the car then? The real mistakes? Can I see the accident scene, please? Yes, of course, if you need to. Well, you don't get to see demonic cars every day. I want to see it all with my own eyes. Sure, I will take you there. I was surprised to learn that the car was examined here in the garage, not in the car repair shop. But Igor explained that he couldn't drive because of the injury. It's a great car. It's a very good purchase for such a price. Yeah, if it wasn't for this curse. We'll deal with the curse. Do you see what's going on? Yes, I do. What the hell, I? May I? Sure. 
Did the mechanic examine the car? Well, of course he did. And the electric part, too? Or he is not very good with it? He is the best specialist. He has checked every centimeter here. We've had a discussion about this for half an evening afterwards. The car is just fine. It's strange. I am sorry. Yes. Are you already here? All right, you can come. I will meet you there, yes. I have invited a psychic here. I am scared of this damn car. You saw what happened yourself, right? I was hoping that the psychic would make my fears go away, or at least explain and help me understand what I was being warned about. For some reason I was the one who had those visions. Well, we have a guest, please meet the psychic. Hello, I know you. You're Andrew from Real Mystics. Hello, nice to meet you. Angela Dorogan, a white magician and the psychic takes off the curses, bad spells, predicts the future. Ten years of work experience. Would you mind us recording you during your work? No, I wouldn't, but I need you to take the car outside. All right. Oh no, I can't do it. Andre, can you do it please? Sure, no problem. Be careful please. Irina invited a psychic to come over. She has examined the car but couldn't set Irina at ease. According to her, this car was cursed. If you are offered a valuable thing at a low price, you have to think it over. Maybe there's something wrong with it. This car reeks of awful cold and horror. I can feel the death energy when I am next to it. I think that the car was sold because it had been in the accident with a lethal outcome. Do you mean someone died in this car? Not necessarily in the car. It might have been. Hit and run. The energy of death is very strong. So I can say there was more than one death. It was even born in blood. What must we do now? Sell it. It would be a perfect solution. When you bought this car, you bought the curse too. The real mystics? The couple has bought a curse together with the car. The vehicle has nearly killed its owner. Igor. The car, which was bought at a good price, is living its own uncontrolled life. The car mechanic didn't find anything suspicious. Your car is all right. But the psychic's conclusion was definite. The car reeked of death and was cursed. The real mystics? It's very hard to clean such things. The spirit of a person who died in the accident is tied to the car. So we need to cut the energy of death from the owner. So I did everything I could. I worked with that car. I worked with Arena. But the result won't be stable and long-lasting, because it's tied to the person who bought a car, I mean, who actually paid the money. In other words, he bought this energy, too. So people must think before buying valuable things for a low price. The information I have heard from the psychic has really shocked me. It turned out there was an accident involving our car and it caused someone's death. It was even born in blood. It just cut the ground from under my feet. I really didn't know what to do. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Same to you. Goodbye. Can I walk with you? Yes, sure. Tell me, do you really think there are some mystical reasons behind what happened to Igor? I'm sure of it. The energy of the car really influences its owners, you know, and their thoughts. You must know that even if a dog or some other animal gets hit by a car, it still draws on the energy of death. And when a person dies in the car accident and nobody helps him or her, then the spirit of this person can stay in the car and take revenge on its owners. But can the spirit control the car? Well, not physically, of course, but it influences the people's will and their actions as a consequence. I see, that's what I thought. Thank you very much. 
You're welcome. This car, it's very bad. I've already told Irina that it was born in blood. And it would be better for them to sell it. You said it was born in blood. What does it mean? I don't really understand it myself. But I saw a lot of blood. Find out if it's important. Goodbye, maybe the psychic was right. But first we must thoroughly consider all the facts. Ego, I am not surprised Arena believes in all this stuff, but you, do you really believe there is a car demon? Well, did I have any other choice? The car mechanic said everything was fine, and now the psychic has confirmed it. If you experience it yourself, you'd also believe in mystics. I see, we are going to figure it all out. I need you to provide all the documents and info. I need to know when you bought a car, who sold it to you, all the technical characteristics. Sure, Ira. Please give me the registration certificate, the bill of sale, and the authorization letter too. The real mystics? So, what do we have at the moment? The real fox, the car has started itself, moved backwards and hit its owner. I still don't understand how it is possible technically. I will need to consult the specialists. But the car mechanic stated there were no problems with the car. Now the mystics. There were many mystical events. Arena's strange visions, the light in the car. The psychic's theory about the dead people's spirits. I have all the documents here with me. I've studied them carefully and found out that the estimated value of the car in the insurance contract was higher than the sum it was actually sold for. So it's obvious that the previous owner really wanted to sell it. That's why I am going to check if this car really was involved in the road accident or if it just was the psychic's fantasy. The real mystics? I made a request to the state's inspector of traffic security about the car's history. It turned out the car has been brought from abroad just recently. It had two owners during the last year. Egonepam Niesti was the third one. We've looked it up in the database. Did you find something interesting? Yes, Igor is the third owner. So there were two other ones. There's the contact info. The car was brought from abroad. How long ago? About a year ago. It changed the owners very fast. Yes, I thought it was stolen, but it has only been in an accident. Now I had the contact info of the mystical car's previous owner, Sergei, and it turned out he wasn't abroad. The real mystics? I called him and he agreed to meet me. If we can understand something, we tend to call it mystical. Sometimes people take actions without thinking what exactly they are doing and how, automatically. It's normal to turn something on and not to remember about it. But Irina said Igor was standing behind the vehicle. So, he simply couldn't start the car and change the gear. What happened, then? If I don't figure it out, I'll start being scared of my own car. Hello, Sergei. I'm already here. I see you. Hello, Sergei. I won't keep you long, I just have a few questions about the car you sold to Igor Nepomniesi. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Why do you think there is something wrong with it? Well, it's obvious since you are asking me about it. It did kill someone, right? What an interesting assumption. Why should it kill someone? Well, I didn't. I didn't mean the car has killed, but I was told not to buy it because it could bring death. But I didn't listen and I barely stayed alive. Sergei told me that he bought this car from his friend. Her husband was convicted of motor vehicle homicide. Sergei just wanted to help his friend out in a tough situation. Thanks. I won't count. I trust you. Here, thanks for coming. Everyone was telling the man that the car was cursed. But Sergei refused to believe it until he nearly lost his life himself.
It wasn't the first accident this car has been involved in. It seems to have bad luck, I guess. So I decided to sell it. First, I put the market price on it, but only a few people called. So I dropped the price to the minimum. And then Igor bought it from me. Did you tell Igor all these stories? I didn't want to scare him away. You know what happened to Igor? Everything's okay. He's alive. Well, I told you everything I knew about this car. All right. Thanks. Sorry for taking your time. Bye. Goodbye. The real mistakes? Well, the history of this car is really complicated. But I am pretty sure that in Sergei's case it was nothing more than self-suggestion. If Sergei didn't know a driver of this car has killed a person, he would probably still drive it without any problems. But Igor and Irina didn't know these details. Still they think there is something wrong with the car. Well, so far the psychic's theory is the most probable one. But there's one detail I need to check. The psychic said that the car was born in blood. I wonder what it could mean. I wrote a letter to the car factory asking if there were any incidents during the production of this particular car. The management of the factory decided to help me so some time later I received an answer. And it truly shocked me. It turned out that the conveyor had snapped during the assembly of this car. So it fell off and injured one of the employees. So it really could be described as being born in blood. The real mistakes? So, all the information I learned didn't bring me any closer to solving the mystery. It still appeared mystical. But I felt that the answer was right under my nose and that it was simple and not mystical. I only had some guesses, so I needed the facts. I was also wondering why Igor changed his opinion so suddenly. At first, he didn't even want to listen to Irina. And now, he sincerely believes in mystics and curses. I think he leaves something unsaid. That's why I decided to bring another expert to examine the car. The real mistakes? A young couple bought a cursed car from the previous owner. On the very first day, some unexplainable, mystical things started happening to it. And it has resulted in a tragedy. The car moved backwards and hit its owner. Igor. The car mechanic assured that the car was all right from the technical point of view. Your car is all right. The psychic's conclusion was definite. She said the car was cursed and it was born in blood. The investigation has found that a person really was hit with this car. During the assembly of the vehicle, a fatal accident took place at the factory. I have invited my friend, a car expert, to clear all the doubts. I hope he'll help us to find the real reasons behind the current events. The real mistakes? Why did it start by itself? Everything has turned on, the headlights, the cardio, the windshield wipers. I sought myself. When was it brought here? A year ago. Oh, I see. I guess this car was drowned before. A lot of cars have been brought here last year after the flood in Europe. They sell them cheap there and here they don't get examined properly. So the alarms, the headlights and stuff can turn on by themselves, hence the ghost stories. But the real reason is electronics. Alexander Alexiev, an automotive service technician and a car mechanic, repair works and service of the foreign cars, 25 years of experience. Incredible as it may seem, but this is really a killer car. But not because it is cursed. It's because the car has drowned before in this case. It happened during the flood. The electronics goes out of order immediately. The car can go dysfunctional any moment. And it could really kill its owner. Wait, what is this? Why do you need a mop in the car? Andre, I have no idea. It's my husband's domain. He's the lord and master here. Alexander. Yes. Please move over, be careful. Tell me, can you switch gears with the help of this mop? In theory, it's possible. You just need to put the key into the ignition lock and hold the brake down. Looks like someone has tried to do that. There is a scratch made by the button. My strange question has become the key to solving this mystery. 
I felt the answer was close but couldn't connect the dots. But now I understood it all. Igor himself was behind everything that had happened. The car didn't injure the man. He did it himself. Igor has admitted to what he has done, but we already know the truth. There is one thing I can't get. Why did you need to hurt yourself? Well, the thing is that I wasn't going to hurt myself, you know. The real mistakes? Irina's suggestion to sell the car at a bigger price and to make some money was tempting for the greedy man, so he agreed. Besides, the car was really expensive to maintain. Ego really wanted to make money from the sale. He really liked this idea and, being seduced by the prospect of gain, couldn't resist the temptation. So decided to fool the insurance company to make more money. The light injury and the insurance payout. But his trick has failed. Ego opened the trunk, took the mop and wanted to put the car in drive so it would move forward and hit the garage wall slightly. But his hand slipped and the car has moved backwards pressing the man against the wall and breaking his knee joint. The car mechanic who examined the car for the insurance company was Iga's old friend. He agreed to make the necessary conclusions at a moderate charge. Your car is all right. Igor has never believed in mystics, but accepting his wife's theory served his interests. The car curse came in very handy. It served as a great cover for his scheme. As to Irina's visions, it turned out the woman had a regular but very strong allergy to the cheap and poor quality windshield washer which her thrifty husband bought and used regularly. The real mistakes? All the mystics in this story turned out to be the result of the car owner's shady game. Greed was Iga's undoing. He chased after the dishonest gain, but got some big problems instead. Too bad, you know, I was already close to believing that the killer car really existed. If you have a scary mystical story to tell, please share it with us. It may become the topic of our next program. Take care.